Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, and right next to me is the DYC Mustang. And on the DYC Mustang is a gunmetal gray base. Now, why do we have a gunmetal gray base on the DYC Mustang? Because it is time for another Mad Scientist dip. Now, if you've not seen Mad Scientist dip videos before, here's how it works. We go to the DYC community Facebook group. We put up a poll. There's a bunch of different items in that poll, and we take the top two highest voted items, regardless of what they are, we mix them together, no testing beforehand, we spray it on the car, and whatever happens, happens. Most of the mad scientist dips have gone really well, but here's why I think we're in some trouble today. Normally when we do a mad scientist dip, we put a bunch of different pearls on there, or a bunch of different juices on there, and a lot of those mix together really well. But because we had such a high success mixing two different performance series gallon colors a couple videos back, we thought we'd try it again with a Mad Scientist dip. So we put a whole bunch of performance series gallon colors on the pole, and the two that won were Wicked Wine and Extra Lime. What happens when you mix together Wicked Wine, which is a deep, beautiful red, and extra lime, which is a bright lime green together, we're about to find out. Now I've got my Wicked Wine gallon, I've got my extra lime gallon, and we're about to pop them open and start the mixing process. But a quick disclaimer, we're not trying to make the coolest color in the world here. The mixture of these two colors may very well look absolutely terrible. But on this channel, we don't wanna just show you our wins, and when we do great, we wanna show you our losses, and when we screw up. The, the mixture of these two is gonna go on this car one way or another, and we're gonna go on this journey together. And if it doesn't look good, then at least we know what happens when we mix them together. Um, if it looks great, then we know how to make this really unique, awesome color. But either way, it's just for fun. So let's jump them in the bucket and see what happens.
All right, so we have finished the car. Now, when we knew that we were gonna be mixing together a dark, deep red and a lime green, we thought maybe one of two different things was gonna happen. Either the dark red was gonna be way too powerful and the lime green would just get swallowed up when it went into the red and we didn't really see that much of a difference, just kind of like a, a different red. Or two, we were gonna make a brown. Because a lot of times you hear when you do red and you do green, you make a brown. We did make a brown. I will say this, if you were looking for chocolate milk, we got you. This is a smooth, creamy, beautiful, metallic chocolate milk. If you're not looking for chocolate milk, you're not gonna like this color. I'm just gonna leave it at that. If you wanna dip your car, we have a lot of colors to choose from. Click up here, it'll bring you to all of our car kits. And all you have to do is select the color you want, size of your vehicle, and the kit will have everything that you need. If you need any help at all, you could check out dycuniversity.com, you could chat with us directly on the website, or you can call in and we love to talk to you guys about your projects. Now let's go outside and check out the car. A quick note about outside. Normally when we show you guys metallic colors, we do it in direct sunlight because the sun helps you see that metallic flare. I don't know if we're gonna get any sun today. Keep that in mind when you see the outside shots. It's Fonzie, I'll see you on the next video.